Hi folks, this is my simplified version of the Emotep Radiant Oscillator. At first, and in all my uh, next videos of this uh, series, you will, uh, we will use this light, which is the energy saving kind of lights. And in all my videos, I'm going to use the Philips, which is a light that you can find anywhere in the world. But first we need to do a little modification on it. When you take the light out of the box, this one we will never use again. The light consists of a tube and the root section which has got a controller card inside and the section that you pull in or you turn in to the wall socket when you want to use the light. What we need to do is we need to remove this section from the light so we are only remaining with the tube. So for safety's sake, I'm using a cloth because it can happen that this uh, glass will break and there's a seam or a joint there so the only thing you need is to pray that open with a screwdriver like this ah there you go sometimes it pops off like nothing sometimes it's difficult to pop off if you are a careful kind of person you will take this little wire inside there and you will turn it off for me, that's too much time waste. I've done too many of this already, so I just nipped it. This is the thing, this is the part that we need to use. So there is some wires connected. Usually they are connecting in such a way so that it lets up a little terminal on the inside that makes the thing hot. We don't care about it. We actually only need one of these wires, but for the sake of neatness, we bind them together forget about the rest. Why are we not electrical engineers? I mean this is so much easier. This little thing just for the sake of interest it has a very interesting control thing inside and some of the other projects that I will use later we will use some of these components. There is some transistors, capacitor, two more capacitors, toroids, um, coil, another coil, and this little thing inside here are uh, diodes. There is 4001, 4007s, so these things we will use quite a lot on a later stage. There's one or two little resistors. So for now, all you need to do with this is put it in a booboo box, forget until next time. This thing, well, maybe it will make a nice cup, but throw away. Okay, we don't need this cloth anymore, so that goes out. We will not need the screwdriver, we will not need pliers, we will not need the side cutter. Of this part, we are only going to remain with this light, two points there, and the relay. Now, I have already modified my relay. On the original Emotep circuit, you will see that he is using the Bosch relay, I think I still have some remnants of it somewhere here. Emotep is using this relay. It looks something originally before I melted it down. It looks something like that. You can find all the details on the website. It is good and everything. You need to do some modifications on the relay. Uh, I used it extensively in the beginning. It's a lot of noisy, but eventually it burnt. This relay is a simple thing that is used, I, I'm not even sure, I think it is used in, in a fridge or a, or, or a controller of a washing machine. It's got four terminal points on the bottom, uh, two of them is for positive, two of them is for negative. So what I did is I connected one cable to the positive and I just jump it over to the power lead, connected another one to the negative, jump it over to the power lead. And that's all I need, I put a little wire up there for connections. So it is much more simple, more quick than the original version. Very well, now I've set up everything. I have two of these uh, energy saving lamps. The only thing I did is that is the, where the wires are connected and on the other side I've put a little crocodile clamp just to make life a little bit easier and more quickly connect. This is a 12 volt battery. It could be a lead acid, uh, sorry, a, a NICAD like this or anyone similar. 
It could be a lead acid which you find in your automotive, cars, doesn't matter. This is a coil, an induction coil. It is used in all cars. Nowadays they even use it in, uh, in, in sound systems to generate more electricity. But in the cars it was used as part of the ignition system. In South Africa and most of the English countries we call this a condenser. The rest of the world call it a capacitor. So let's remain with capacitor. A capacitor, that is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal of the capacitor. It is also usually used in uh, cooperation or in conjunction with the coil in the automotive ignition system. This is all the components that you need. High tension wire you don't need. You can use any other kind of wire. This is the spark plug cable that uh, runs from the coil to the distributor, from the distributor to 4, 6, 8 or 12 plugs you have in your car. I'm using it, I have them, but it doesn't, you, doesn't, you don't need to really to use it. So let's start by this thing. We plug it in right on top, which is the high tension pole of the coil. And we put the one side, put one light one side. We connect one of these lights, the crocodile clamp, onto the opposite side. There we are. This black cable. Sorry, folks. I had a little mishap here in the meantime. Uh, so I am back. After all, I'm still operating the factory as well. Anyway, let me review what we did here. We plugged in the positive side, oh sorry, we plugged in the high tension cable to the high tension terminal of the coil. From there, it is coming out to the one side of our modified or stripped down globe. The other side of the globe comes back to the negative side of the coil. Then we have another lead from the coil that will come to my relay plugs into the negative side so it also charges where the energy is supposed to go out and this is one supposed to go in it just charges both of them at the same time so the last thing I need to do is I need to connect up my positive side of the coil and I connect the other side or the negative side of my relay there and we have a 220 volt 23 watt globe all the things removed, being run now by this very cheap Chinese coil and this 12 volt battery.